I have been excited about doing this taste test for a long time. And I can't wait to do it this morning. And I've come all the way to Borton on the Water to do this taste test. So I'll tell you about what I'm tasting and why I'm in Borton. As soon as I have welcomed you to Magenta Otter Travels, I'm Dara and I love all things British and welcome in my channel anyone who does as well. So whether you live in Britain or just love Britain, welcome. Please join the conversation today about clotted cream as I do this clotted cream taste test. Americans frequently ask me about clotted cream, which is why when I did the Britain Love Stories series early on in the beginning of my channel, where I covered all the things I love about Britain, I did a video all about afternoon tea. And I talked about the difference between afternoon tea and high tea. And I explained this thing called clotted cream. So that was the first time I really talked about it in detail on my channel. Then I did a video making clotted cream in the US in an instant pot. That video was really done for Americans because you see, we have trouble getting clotted cream in the US. It's just not a common thing. And I think it has something to do with milk pasteurization and homogenization and all that stuff. But the fact is, this is the only kind of clotted cream you can get in the US, if you don't make it yourself. Is this, uh, this brand is Devon Cream Company. That sounds good. Um, and it just says clotted cream. So you can order this on Amazon if you live in the state, it costs about 15 US dollars to buy this jar that's 170 grams. That's a lot of money. <laughs> the only other place I've seen clotted cream in stores that I could buy in the US is at World Market. And there you can get a little jar, this is 170 grams, you can get a little jar of clotted cream that is only 28 grams and that costs about three dollars and fifty cents the other thing that i've seen at world market is this jar also the long life jar uh, that's shelf stable of double cream it is eight dollars for that long life double cream so i'll be honest i've never tried the long life clotted cream or double cream in the u.s because I just don't think it would be as good. So I've always been a bit snobbish, I'll be honest, because I went to Cornwall for the first time two years ago in 2020, and I did a lot of vlogs there about our travels, some really fun stuff. And I also discovered Rhoda's Clotted Cream, which is made in Cornwall, and you can get it all over Britain in the refrigerated section in a tub. And so I consider this fresher than the long life stuff on the shelf in the jar. So this is my preference and I love this stuff. So I've always been snobbish and I've never tried this, but knowing this is what Americans get and think of as clotted cream, I'm like, I need to do a side-by-side -side taste test. So that's why we're here in Borton on the Water is because I'm not in Cornwall right now. I am in Gloucestershire and while if you've watched my Borton on the Water video, you know that Ian and I don't love coming to Borton on the Water because it's just usually a super overly touristy, crowded place, especially in the summer. And here we are, it's late June. But Borton on the Water is the closest place to my home in Cheltenham that has a Cornish bakery. And if you watched my Battle of the Scones that I did in Cornwall, I went to places that I thought would have really great scones. And then I went to the Cornish Bakery, which again was a place I was snobbish about and didn't want to go to because it looked like some big mass produced chain, but they had the best scones. So here I am at Borton on the Water at 9 a.m. before the place is super crowded. I'm gonna go to the Cornish Bakery and hopefully get a fresh warm scone. And then I'm gonna go sit by the river and I am going to try the scone with these two kinds of clotted cream and the jam. And just to finish the price comparisons, the Rhoda's clotted cream that you buy here in the refrigerated section 
in most major British supermarkets. It costs about two to two fifty, two pounds to two pounds fifty to get a two hundred and twenty seven gram tub of the clotted cream. So much better value for what I always assume was a much better taste. But let's see if I'm right. Okay, so Ian is joining me for this taste test because <laughs> because I really want some scones, fresh scones. With yep. Clotted cream. <laughs> yep, that's right. I was bribed. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it was a big incentive getting to have a fresh scone with two kinds of clotted cream because he's you're curious about the taste test too, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so we're here next to the river, but this is the fun of filming in Borton on the Water. We've got increasing traffic with each moment. There's more vehicles passing by. Um, there's ducks all about, which hopefully will not get too interested in our scones and come attack us because that would be very on brand for Magenta Otter Travels, wouldn't yeah. it? <laughs> to have an aviary attack. Um, and also a, a, a cute little couple who also had a cute picnic blanket like us came and sat themselves down right behind us in our shot after we'd spent like 15 minutes framing the perfect shot with a Borton on the Water Bridge behind us. So lean this way, Ian. See, there's a bridge here. So we really are important on the water, even though you can't totally see it. All right, so let's get going. We have here from the Cornish Bakery, a fruit scone for Ian, and a plain scone for me. Ooh, that's a nice looking scone. Okay, so let's split open the scones. Yummy, yummy. And then, you want to open that jar for me? I think we should first taste, oh my goodness, this it's is weird, interesting. It? it does look a little weird. So it's got some bubbles on the top. And um, it's really thick on the top. And... So is this pasteurized? Ah... Uh, I can't answer that question. Yes, it's pasteurized cream. Okay. So this is this is a perfect demonstration of why I have an issue with putting the jam first on a scone because this is so stiff. This clotted cream is so stiff. It's like it's like butter almost. It's really thick. Yeah. And it doesn't it doesn't really have the consistency of what I would expect clotted cream to have. It almost seems more like cream cheese, doesn't it? Yeah. So if it only had the calories of cream cheese. <laughs> yes. So um, I, I'm gonna put my this other clotted cream on also before oh. I do the jam. Showing. So here's the cute little Rhoda's tub. And you'll see this is yellowier on the top because this is what happens when you make clotted cream. You get kind of a yellowy crust on top. And then Oops. underneath that crust, it's gooier. See? So you don't get that in the long life clotted cream in yeah, the jar. This is much creamier. Mm -hmm. Much creamier. This is this is the way you would expect clotted cream to be. Yeah, and they were both in the refrigerator, taken out at the same time. So this, I don't know that you're going to be able to really tell on camera, but you can totally tell in person when you're spreading it how much thinner, not too thin, but just creamier in consistency the uh, the other clotted cream is. All right. So let's get the jam and. Like I said, we're doing it the Devon way with the cream on first and Ian and I super love raspberry jam. So that's what we're having instead of strawberry. Yeah. We just think it's superior, right? Well, s strawberry jam's good too. But... Okay. I think it's superior. <laughs> I think it's more Depends flavorful. Depends on what I'm in the mood for. All right. So I'm going to give you a chance to jam up your scones and then we'll give this a taste test. First we try the long life. Okay. Here it is. Yep. 
I'm tasting way too much jam, so I'm now gonna take a taste of just, take a part that you just have the clotted cream. It tastes creamy, but it seems dry. What do you think? It's, it's almost like um, cream cheese to me in taste. There is no comparison mm -hmm. in the texture. The texture of the road is, is so smooth and creamy. It's not dry at all. Mm. It tastes how clotted cream you expect clotted cream to taste. The way it's supposed to be. Delicious. This is so good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having I'm having an Anglophile moment. I'm sitting next to the river looking at a bridge and some ducks in Borton on the Water and I'm eating a fresh scone with delicious clotted cream and raspberry jam. I'm having an Anglophile moment. So Ian, I have a question for you. Yeah. I think it's obvious from our taste test that we prefer the Rhoda's fresh clotted cream yes. to the to the shelf stable long life cream. Yeah. So if you were talking to an American about trying clotted cream, do you think they should even try ordering this from Amazon and trying it? I don't think so. No, it just, just doesn't give you the experience, the real experience of clotted cream. Yeah. So if you're American and you really want to try clotted cream for yourself, you got to make it yourself. If you have an Instant Pot, watch my <laughs> clotted cream making video. And if you don't want to make it yourself, I say come to England. Yeah, you're going to have to, you're going to have to make it here. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please watch next one of my other clotted cream or afternoon tea videos to stay in this spirit. Thanks so much for watching and do something good in the world today.